And we're back, uh, this time with a freshman at Kenyon called uh, Luke, Luke Scon. Yep. Oh, good, 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 I got it right. Um, I'm bad with names. So, um, and today on today's show, we were talking about middle path and accessibility. And I just wanted to um, gauge from you really quickly, like how, how has it been um, on campus? Well, actually, it's been uh, pretty good. Um, uh, although I expected that, you know, it, it's a little bit, it looks a little bit rough, but it's actually a pretty, it's pretty nice when I go over middle path on my scooter because, um, first off, it dissuades me from going, like, Too really fast. fast. Yeah. And so, you know, that kind of increases the safety of everybody yeah. else. Yeah. But um, uh, it only takes me, like, three minutes to get from, you know, the road yeah. Uh, to the uh, classrooms. Yeah, the classroom yeah. that I need to go. It's not real rough, and yeah. I, I've never really had any problems with like yeah. rocking my scooter too much. Yeah. But what are you? Uh, okay, so I know you have an experience. Well, I mean, you're from Mount Vernon, right? Yes. So, like, you know Ohio winters. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, like, I'm just trying to, I want to get your, um, as a, I, I want to get your uh, thought on this whole. Middle path should they pave it or not pave it? That's the first question. Should they pave it or not pave it? Well, I I have to say no preference really. I mean, I guess it's sort of uh, it's got an aesthetic aspect to the whole unpaved thing. Yeah. And and I, I understand there's a lot of uh, sentimentality that people really like it being you know unpaved. But I think that it could look nice bricked as well. Uh, but I I really have no preference. Um, the other question is, um, so what, uh, we have three minutes left, okay, cool. Okay, so, um, what is your disability? I was talking about on the show about how I have cerebral palsy and a heart murmur, and, and what that does for me is that it messes up my coordination, motor skills, and balance, and I, you know, have had rehab and stuff like that as a way of, um, as a way of trying to um, deal with that. So what is, what is like the word or phrase, whatever? Well, my, my disability has three Y's in it. It's called fondyloepiphyseal dysplasia. Um, oh, say that again, wow. Fondyloepiphyseal dysplasia. Okay. Uh, it's kind of complicated, but the worst aspect of it is that, well, it causes my skeleton to not grow it's correctly. Like my arms okay. don't straighten out all the way and my, my feet kind of tilt to the side, so I've had okay. multiple surgeries to straighten my, my legs out. Yeah. And last but not least, it really messed up my spine, so I have scoliosis, kyphosis, and lordosis all at the same time. Uh, I won't get into that, but it just, I've, I've really got a lot of, um, uh, I, I've really got a lot of messed up skeleton yeah. related uh, disorders from my, um, and how does that affect your life? Like, how does that affect daily tasks? Well, it sort of makes me tired more easily because I've also got restrictive lung disorder, which means my lungs won't expand all the way because my ribs. Wow. Um, but I think that it, I think that it made me mature, mature faster, and it, it gave me a lot of. Um, I wouldn't say it was really too negative on my life. I'm a pretty optimistic person, so as long as I am, I would say that my disability actually helped me with that because I was, I've always been kind of uh, more focused on um, intelligence rather than uh, physical things yeah. anyway. Yeah. Is there, uh, we don't have much time, but is there one thing that people, that you would like people to um, uh, most understand about you and your disability? You know, when people to cut, yeah. Well, I guess um, it makes me a unique person. I mean, I, that sounds kind of cliche, but I don't think that I, my my disability made me into who I am. But it's like it's not like it defines who I am. Like I would yeah. not be, I, I would not have most of my positive aspects if I didn't have my disability. 
you know. They're like, right there. They're right there, Luke. I'm telling you that is exactly how I feel. Yeah, I mean, experience is everything in the world, and it just gave me that experience. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. I'll be back.